I am black. But I don't eat watermelon. I don't like mustard greens, collard greens. Fuck getting a big booty, that shit is nasty. I am black. I have puffy, wavy hair, naturally. But I'm not down with the natural movement because my situation is too nappy and unapologetic and I just cannot deal with it. I am black. But I don't cackle like a fucking hyena. I don't speak loud enough for Jesus Christ himself to have a busted eardrum. Because my mother taught me how to use my inside voice and not to be obnoxious. I am black, but I don't have a black girl mentality. You don't get to see my attitude before you see me and I know how to speak proper English. And not like an uneducated other. I am black, but when I walk into a place of business that does not mean you need to watch me. You don't need to feel threatened just because I'm walking behind you, beside you, girl relax. I'm in line just like you. I am black, but I don't feel like the world owes me anything but respect. The exact same respect that is so graciously given to my white counterparts. I am black. I am human. I am you. Just so y'all know, in case y'all didn't know, I'm black. Surprise. Um, I just, I wrote this because I just, I don't like the stereotypes that surround black people. Not just black people, but any kind of race. I hate that stereotype. Just because I'm black doesn't mean I eat watermelon. So the watermelon jokes, stop it. I don't eat mustard greens, I don't eat collard greens, I don't like them, they're disgusting, I don't like them, I tried them, can't eat them, okay? So just because I'm black don't mean, okay, I do like chicken, but that's different. I hate when you walk into a store, it's usually like the small businesses. Like, you know, a little small clothing store or something, that's probably only one person working there. But they follow you around and it's like, I'm fine. And it makes you not even want to shop, like, um, there's this dress store in the mall. I think it's... An Esplanade Mall? I think it's in that one. It's a dress store on Esplanade Mall. One person, well, like there's one person that's usually in there all the time unless they have another person in the back. Usually it's one person. And I've never been in there. I always walk by and I, I wasn't planning on buying nothing. I didn't need a dress. They're like, it, I mean, I mean, when I say dresses, I mean like prom dresses. I just wanted to go in and look because I'm like, oh, these are really pretty. And I'm walking around looking. I separately walk in the store. I think this was me and my mom was in the store. Yeah, I think it was both of us. And it's Oh, you need help buying anything? No, we're just looking. And she walks off. And then, we hadn't even gone like five feet. We're looking at a dress and she, Oh, you have a wedding or something coming up? You need help? Man, we're just looking. I'm like, and then, from that point on, it's like she walked when we walked. She moved when we moved. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be in here anymore. Like, how the hell am I running out of here with a whole dress, okay? And even if you go into like grocery stores and stuff, they will watch you. And it's like, okay? Like, especially people love prevention. And I don't know why they don't teach their law prevention better than my dad. Obviously, if I'm moving from aisle to aisle and you're moving from aisle to aisle with me, it's like, okay, stop it. Stop it right now. I'm not about to take anything. If I'm coming in here, obviously I got money. It's just, it's frustrating when you can't go in the store and shop in peace, just like everybody else. But they expect you to be the thief, so they want to follow you around the store. And I'm like, that's how you lose business right there. Because if I'm noticing that, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that's noticing it. And it's very irritating. Okay, it's like, stop it. I'm black, but I'm not going to steal. You have white people that come in here and steal too. And it's crazy because working in retail, I learned when you think it's like you, most of the younger people that are stealing, it's the older people that are stealing. And I say old, I mean I can be your grandparents old stealing. Like I would never ever forget about this. When I used to work at Dollar General, this old couple like could have been my grandma and my grandpa. I'm watching them on the camera, not following. And I just happen to be looking at the camera, okay? And the cameraman it was, you could clearly see that our plan is day. When I tell you these people are stuffing hot sauce and snacks and stuff in their pockets, I'm like, are you kidding me? And it's ridiculous. I'm like, come on. And they try to walk out of nothing and be like, sir, take everything out of your pocket. Everything. I've watched you. Like, don't take one thing out. Just, is it worth going to jail for? Seriously. One time, me and my fiance recently got into sushi, right? Because I, like, some sushi I don't like. I really don't like it. But the crab meat, I really, 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 really like that. It's so good. Crab meat and shrimp, I can do. I just, I haven't really gotten into the actual fish sushi. But if it's got crab meat and uh, shrimp in it, I can do it. Um, he went in to get our sushi one day. We ordered to go. And this white couple inside of the sushi bar had the nerves to say. You know black people ate sushi. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I didn't know white people ate chicken, so I mean, just because I'm black, that means I can only eat certain food that black people eat. Black people can't eat sushi. It's like, I just want to be able to go places in peace. I just want to get respect like you give everybody else. I don't want you to look at me 
and look like I'm about to take something or I'm about to hurt you because I'm right here. Like, it, it's crazy. Okay, it's just, it's ridiculous. And I can, I can say what I want to say and I can fuss about it and I still have to deal with it tomorrow. So, but um, yeah, that is my poem. I am black, if you guys didn't know. So yeah, you guys should like this video and share it and subscribe to my channel and be here for the next one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.